Hello, this is Thomas Medlock, and this is my final project, Medlock Fitness Tracker. So right away we can see on the front page, uh, we have days of the week, and the current day is emphasized. If we go over here, we have our timer settings. You can see here that I can turn it on and off. And then I also have the current time with the timer is going to begin at. We can see that I can submit it. It'll say changes saved. And I can also try and put a ridiculous amount. But it'll tell me that it won't work. You can see here that this wasn't changed. So now if I go back, you can see that on Monday, the timer will be set to 60. D disregard this. This is all for... Uh, bug testing. If we go back here, set the timer, set it to 80, save it, you can see it's 80, go to here, it's at 80. If I click it, the timer will start counting down, you know. Um, so um, over here, if I go ahead and set this to five seconds, just for testing purposes, and then I go back over here to Monday, and then I, well, really quickly, I want to show you this functionality, the t automatic timer, what that means is that if I enter a weight, you can see it says good job, and the timer starts counting down. When it's finished, you can see up here, it says time's up, let's hit that next set. If I click it, it'll take me to this, uh, this activity. So if I go back, let me just get rid of this, uh, this activity really quick. If I start this timer and I leave, after five seconds, it'll still make that notification up top. And when I click it, it'll still take me to that activity. So now over here, oh wait, let me quickly just show you. If I turn this off and save it, and then I go to here and I hit five, just to show that this won't, here, let me hit four, just to show that this won't update when it's a lower value. Notice how it didn't do anything because I turned auto off. Over here in timer, or in, in the wait, page, you can see that it has the eight last weights. Uh, this was actually done um, with a spanable string. I was learning about spanable strings. But if you see here, I can upload my, uh, my weight. And then um, you can see here that it starts to stagnate. Um, I'm going to fix this, actually. So by the time that you get this, this will be wiped, similar to how over here it wipes it when I put it in like that. It'll be wiped like that when I turn it in. And you can verify. I'll change that. Um, so basically we have this timer which is uses multi-threading. Uh, we have over here, if we click on this, you can see that the uh, actual, um, this is to edit the workout. So over here, you, you know, I can do this, save it, and then it'll take us back here and you can see that it says new. Um, I also have uh, restrictions over here for um, this. So if you see here, if you do this, and then you hit it, and you hit cancel, it won't change that name. It'll keep it regular. Uh, here is where you can, I have my fling, but for on my computer, I can't do it. Um, but if you actually boot it on your phone, you'll see that um, you can use the, the, the fling down gesture here to reset these to zero. Um, so um, that's basically how that works. If we go over here, this will also reset it too. So if I hit all of these, and hit save, it resets all of these. Um, so there's one for each day of the week. We have our weights here. This drawable will change depending on, um, you know, the the, the trend. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a lot of toast so there would be a lot of feedback. So, for instance, if we do like this, we try to save this, it'll tell us the workout title must be less than 25 characters, and it'll reset it back to what it originally was. Now, I, and if you notice, all over I have that too. So, um, yeah. Basically, uh, that is my project, and uh, thanks for watching. This is Tom Medlock.